We've seen the study program refer us to the study guide. Now I'm not going to tell you how to address the study guide. In the first part of the study guide, the detailed information how to go through each section of the study guide. What I actually want to tell you, which you probably know, but why do you always ask questions about it? I don't know. The exam paper is in the study guide. Students always ask for exam tips. What must I concentrate on and so on? And actually all those information, the content of the exam, the scope of the exam, is in the study guide. You don't believe me. We start off each study unit of the um, study guide with the study unit outcomes. For instance, study unit 1, we say after you've worked through this study unit, you should be able to identify the major flows in the economy, distinguish between the flow and the stock and so on. So these are the things that you should be able to do once you've worked through the study unit, once you work through the relevant content in the textbook. And we give you activities to see whether you're up to speed with the content. And then at the end of the study unit, we have a checklist. In the checklist, is for you to do. It's not me that's going to write the exam, you must write the exam. You must be able to tell yourself whether you achieve the aims of the study unit because you will be assessed on the aims of the study unit. In the checklist, we said once you work through the study unit, you should be able to describe the three flows. In the checklist, I'm able to identify the three flows in the economy distinguished between a flow and a stock. It's not whether Billy LaRue is able to distinguish between this flow and the stock, whether you are able to do that. Now, if you look in the checklist, we also provided different columns. Yes, I'm able to do well, satisfactory, I must redo, I must go back to that, that section I'm not so sure of about myself, or I need help. Now, the checklist is not something you must do just before the exam. Then it's too late. As you work through the study program, as you work through the study unit, as soon as you've done the study unit, you must complete the study, uh, sorry, you must complete this checklist. And seek some help if necessary. Now, because study unit 2 built on to study unit 1, and 3 on 2 and 1, so if you miss something in the beginning, it will catch up with you. And then you have to spend more time. Then you have to waste more time just to catch up. So please, I can't overemphasize the use of the checklist.